Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to review all the videos published in November and December 2018. Let's begin! So, November started with a continuation of the simple character movement. First, a simple character dash ability, which is a very nice ability that fits perfectly in any sort of action game. And then the dodge roll, which is mainly different from the dash due to having a dodge movement over time instead of being an instant teleport. There was also the summary video for the waiting queue in Battle Royale Tycoon. Now that the game is out, it's great to revisit the summary to see all the elements that make up the queues in the final game. We also had the conclusion of the graph series. This is the longest series I've done, it started off very simple and became increasingly more complex and feature rich over time. We first had the Land Graph Visual Object, which is a class that lets us have more control over each point in the graph. Then we took the Land Graph and Bar Chart Visual Objects, and using their update methods, we made the code to update the graph in real time. This is much better for performance than what we were doing previously, which was completely destroying and recreating the graph each time. And finally, the last video in the series was showing the graph being used in the published version of Battle Royale Tycoon. So it's great to see the progression in this series, how it started off very simple and ended up being used in a published commercial game. Moving on to December, it started with a video announcing the launch of Battle Royale Tycoon, which was the reason there were fewer videos in November. Then we had a summary of the task system, which again is great to revisit after you play the game so you see how the underlying systems work. Two videos on quick tips, these are very short videos that contain a single tip that might help you immensely. First with how to show a sprite render without having to make a custom sprite by using a generic white pixel. And then how to clone a template transform so you don't clutter your project files with lots of single use prefabs. We also started off a new series focused on how to make a tooltip. This is an extremely important element for any game which is UI heavy. It lets you show extra information to the player but only when needed. So first we created the tooltip in the editor and added the code to resize it to fit any text while following the mouse. Then we use the background size and the camera view to make sure our tooltip never leaves the screen. After that, we add the ability to update our tooltip in real time in order to display something like a cooldown. Also, we added static functions and extension methods to make the class very easy to use. And finally, we had videos on modular sprite sheets as used for guests in Battle Royale Tycoon. This is an excellent and very simple method of creating near infinite possibilities so you never have two guests that look exactly the same. First we define how we were going to compose our final sprite, what's our base and how to copy pixels from a sprite sheet that contains multiple body parts. Then we composed a final body part from multiple elements. We took the base head and applied a random beard and hairstyle. And then we learned how we could tint individual pixels, so using that and a white base sprite sheet we managed to get multiple colors on hair and beards. The upcoming videos cover how to tint the skin color while using a pixel mask and then creating a body with primary and secondary colors. So that was it for the months of November and December 2018. I hope you found the videos helpful and learned something along the way. Here's to a 2019 full of interesting videos and never increasing knowledge base. If you have any questions regarding any of the videos, feel free to post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.